Hi, we're celebrating Christine Harden's 1,000 subscribers on YouTube Hop today. And she has given us a little bit of a challenge to complete in her hop. Um, the elements that she would like to see are two photos. She would like us to use either fun foam or foam tape. She would also like us to use a patterned paper background. I have chosen three pattern papers to work with for this layout. And the last thing that she said was, well, actually the second to the last thing, she said to hide or not a unicorn on your layout and then plus to do some paint or ink splatters on your finished layout. So I'm going to get started and let's see what we come up with because I don't really have a plan. So we'll see. So you guys, I really said that I wasn't going to have a plan off the top of my head. I did plan on typing my journaling off camera because it's a rather lengthy story and I wanted to make sure that there was room for all of it on my layout. This story is about our daughter, Courtney. She has taken front and center in several of my layouts lately because I was finishing up her senior pictures and her homeschool graduation, etc. And so this set of photos actually takes place after we moved from Virginia where she graduated from our home school to Tennessee. The Army sent us to Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Fort Campbell, Kentucky lies right smack dab on the borders of Tennessee and Kentucky. We chose to live off base in Tennessee just like we did in Virginia and we lived in Clarksville, Tennessee rather than Kentucky because housing in Kentucky was a little harder to find for the size that we needed. Anyway, back to the story. Once she graduated and we got settled and the first thing she did was she got a job at Sonic so that she could start making her own money. And then that was while she was waiting for her cosmetology class to start up, which started up, I think, in February or March of 2016. So this story is a little bit about that. Um, her dad started calling her our unicorn because she was rare and we never saw her. And that's what unicorns are. They're rare and you never see them. So she just became known as our unicorn. And when she would come home, we would say, well, there's our unicorn. And so it just kind of became kind of an inside family joke about Courtney being busy and learning to do adult things after high school graduation. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting down the pattern papers and I'm going to layer them. I also had pulled out that navy blue pattern from a previous layout and I'm just going to use it to mat this top photo. This top photo I actually had to get from my daughter because I didn't have a single photo of her at her cosmetology school because I didn't go there. She did. And it wasn't, re it was really kind of frowned on if we went and bothered our kids there. So I also used the backside of the pe light peachy floral to mat the second photo. This layout actually comes together really really fast it takes me roughly if I count the little bit of off-camera time that I had it takes me about 20 minutes from start to finish on this layout so I'm probably not going to speed up this video at all for you and just let you watch what I'm doing I, I know you've seen people matte photos before and so it is a little bit off camera I'm still trying to get used to this new um, ring light and trying to remember that I need to push things up. I may have to do um, a piece of tape or something down at the bottom to remind myself I need to be above that piece of tape. Also, my husband has talked about mounting the um, light on the wall so that you don't see those brackets on my table space because they're rather ugly, but that's another discussion for another time. So I'm also flipping over a piece of the, the darker, like bubblegum pink patterned paper, and I'm using the back of it to mat my journaling as well. I 
so I'm gonna begin putting my layout together here. I'm gonna adhere the pink and the peachy floral piece down onto my base paper. The um, pink piece of paper and the base paper are both Hip Kit Club exclusives. For my CKC kit, I did dig into both my Hip Kit exclusives as well as my Pink Fresh Studios papers and they form the bulk of my January CKC kit. This floral piece actually came from a Park Lane paper pad. Um, my CKC kit is on my blog and you can see all of it with pictures on my blog. I can put a link to that below for you. Anyway, so I'm gonna add the fun foam behind the focal photo of my daughter sitting in one of the chairs at the cosmetology school in Clarksville, Tennessee. I printed the photo of her in her sonic uniform in black and white because it was a, not going to match its obnoxious colors and did not look great with my pattern papers. I'm just gonna layer things up a little bit and decide where I wanna place things. I'm not gluing down everything just yet and some of this, once I get everything where I want it on the layout, I'm actually gonna use liquid adhesive off camera to get it down exactly where I want it. So the metal clips that you see me playing with here are part of one of my unofficial scrapbooking goals. I do not make set in stone goals for my scrapbooking. I don't write them down, um, mostly because I'm lazy, but also because I'm just not one of those people that gets real caught up in making set in stone goals. I do have an unofficial goal to work through my freckled fawn stash of embellishments and papers this year. The um, heart paper clip was from one of their old embellishment kits. They don't do just embellishment kits, I don't think anymore, but they do have several subscriptions that you can get into and their products are absolutely wonderful. I had went to just the embellishment kit because I have tons of paper and I didn't have a whole lot of embellishments at the time. That has now changed. So I stopped my subscription for the time being but would definitely recommend and probably will definitely go back. So this little envelope that you see me messing with and fiddling with wrapping that string around those two paper circles on it, I'm gonna use that as well as a label and a library card pocket as tucking pieces to layer behind my photo. This just adds a little bit more dimension to my layout and brings a little bit more of the navy blue and the lighter blue color into my layout. The little yellow title block was not actually in my CKC kit this month. It's been sitting on my desktop because I found it in a place where it didn't go and I pulled it out so that I could put it away. And when I was trying to decide what photos to use for this layout, I saw that sitting on my desk and I'm like, that would make a perfect start to my title. There is not a whole lot of yellow in the papers that I have chosen out of my CKC kit for this layout. So I put that on there, added the yellow heart paper clip, and then added that little label that I tucked on top of the photo just to add in some more of the yellow so that it's kind of in a little visual triangle for you there. So you see that I put my unicorn on my layout. I am not hiding my unicorn because the unicorn is pivotal to the story that I'm telling on this page. I also added the clock behind the unicorn because the passage of time is also part of the story that I'm trying to tell. And there I add another little bit of yellow with that little tiny yellow heart. I added the lipstick tube because this is a cosmetology school. She did um, go to the school to not only learn to do hair, but they do a little bit of makeup tutorials in there as well because in this industry, looking your best is important. So my title of this layout is gonna be You Are Fabulous Unicorn. And I'm using some um, Felicity Jane 
letters to um, create the word unicorn on here. Quite pleased with myself. I think this is the third layout I've used this small set of alphas on and I've almost busted them. I'm probably gonna end up with some that I can't use up, but that's okay. Um, sometimes I use those for tucking pieces or I just give myself permission to throw them away if I can't use them all up, but I do try. I haven't quite decided where I want that little pink camera to end up on the layout. You're gonna see me in a minute pick up that yellow heart and it doesn't come off the pattern paper cleanly. I thought I would put it right there and then put the yellow heart in the middle of it. I ended up not liking that and I was able to fix that off camera so it's not a big deal. Um, this is just part of my process learning to play some play with this stuff and if I get glue somewhere, oh well. So I took the layout off camera and I used some liquid glue to adhere down all of the elements to my page, making sure that I got everything stuck down well. You can see that I ended up moving that little pink camera in the upper right hand corner. I added the phrase fun to the center. I put the little yellow heart back where I had originally placed it with liquid glue. And now I'm gonna add the splatters that were part of Christine's requirement. I wanna thank Christine for inviting me to celebrate with her um, hop. Um, congratulations, Christine, for getting a thousand subscribers. That's a big deal. Hope that you guys all enjoy the hop as you go through the day and see all the wonderful creations that Christine's friends have put out there for you to enjoy. Have a great day and thank you for coming to my channel. Bye.